Hey, it's Cooper here. Another Cooper's Moment. Thoughts driving down the road. So much going on. Just a thinking process. Trying to scrounge to make a living. You know, figuring out what you can sell and what you can get rid of and all those other kind of fun things just to try to make ends meet. So you look at, I had an individual post on my Facebook page, some scenario of reference to, if you go back to work, who would you be willing to sacrifice or give up because of the percentages of individuals who are willing to pass away? And reaching out to, to everybody who thinks that way, think about what you're saying. Okay? Who are you willing to give up? You're not in the military. So when I was in the military and we were back to back in yeah, incoming fire, we didn't give up anybody. But guess what? We saw death. We saw death directly in front of us. We didn't want that person to die. We didn't ask for that person to die. So who are you willing to give up? What kind of statement is that? What kind of ignorance is that? What kind of fear mongering is, is that? It's the mongering of, of you've had so much fear of death preached to you that you forget about life. The living life. Fear restricts you the mental process in order for you to live. You can find yourself mentally so that you can't you can't even think of the possibilities. Fear. What is there to be afraid of? Can somebody explain that to me? What is there to be afraid of? Oh, I might get COVID. Okay. You look at the numbers. Percentages of getting well are over 98%. Where's the fear? The fear my loved ones might get it. Well, you know what? If they do, do the best you can by them. The same way that you would have done the best you can by them when, if your loved ones get the flu or your loved ones break a hip or your loved ones have a heart attack or your loved ones have cancer or your loved ones have a stroke or your loved ones didn't look both ways before they crossed the street and they got hit by a car. Or your loved one's out hiking and they get struck by lightning. You're going to do the best that you possibly can to care for them. You're not going to walk through life in fear that they could get hit by a car. You're not going to walk through life in fear that they could be struck by lightning. You're not going to walk through life with the fear that you could get the flu. You're not going to walk through life with the fear that you could get cancer. You're not going to walk through the life with the flu or with the fear that you're going to get drunk at the bar and be killed. Or just driving down the road, mind your own business, and get hit by a drunk driver. You're not going to walk through life doing that. People, public, let go of the fear. And our powers that be, you're not stating the facts. I'm sorry, but you're not. When you allow the mass majority of large businesses to be open, and a mom and pop shop that never has the population to walk through their, their their institution, a barber or salon never has the population to walk through Walmart. Never. Never. They don't have it. You have major companies sending packages all over the world. Guess what? Within three days, if, the, if it's reference to the COVID, it could still be there. Oh, but, but wear gowns and gloves. Guess what? You have the gloves, you touch them, you're exposed. The facts aren't there. The facts aren't there. And I don't care. You know, science is a matter of numbers, and each person, each, each scientist, myself included, wants a platform to try to share their information. And they want grants and money and be able to survive and make a living, just like everybody else. government tells me that I can't work and I'm a dog trainer and I have less exposure to people than anybody out there. I walked into Walmart the other night and there's 
probably 500 people there. They're walking elbow to elbow, shoulder to shoulder, bypassing each other, bumping into each other, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. And I can't work. Where's the logic? There is no logic in it. The major companies get to, to keep making money and the smaller companies don't. Something's wrong with the picture. Something's very wrong with the picture. 